riding at this time of the morning is wildlife, kangaroos, wombats. I was really hoping to get that golden light on the subject which is behind me over here. I have been stirring them up a bit by going G'day you my life forms, it's Chewy here. I'm whispering because it's That's my favorite bird sound in the world. Can you hear the magpie? It's 10 past five in the morning. I'm at Armadale. I'm gonna go and try and get a sunrise photo from a location that I saw yesterday. Let's see how this one works out. I've got a towel here to dry off the bike. We got drenched yesterday. Anyway, I'm gonna stop filming here because I don't wanna wake everyone up. I'll see you down the road. I just started the bike, so I'm letting it warm up a little bit. I didn't start it in the motel, I rolled down the driveway and then started it on the street. I'm in Armadale, New South Wales, and I didn't realise how big a town this was. On our ride yesterday between Armadale and Dorigo, we had a few dramas. There'll be a video out showing some of those dramas. Uh, poor old Steph's bike's battery terminal snapped clean off. Then we got absolutely drenched. The rain was intense. I was hoping to get a sunrise this morning, which is why I'm up so early. Now I watch a lot of photography videos by people like Thomas Heaton, Nigel Dance and Gavin Hardcastle. The thing they always preach about is getting to the location early and having plenty of time to set up your composition. I was hoping for very first rays of morning light, the golden light. It may not happen, we'll see. Whatever conditions I get, I'll make the most of. What I have to be careful of driving at this time of day or riding at this time of the morning is wildlife, kangaroos, wombats, you know, riding at 90, 100 k's an hour on a country road by myself. It could be devastating if one of those crazy critters decides to jump out in front of me. But what a beautiful morning. It's such a beautiful morning. This will do just fine. Just hope the light does what it's meant to do. Got about 10 minutes till sunrise. I don't think the sun's gonna hit those rocks over there until a little bit after that because of the cloud. I'm just hoping the sun peeks through a gap there somewhere. If it does, I could get something very nice. Otherwise, I'm gonna get something a little bit ordinary, but I'm sure it'll still be nice. At the moment it's blue hour, everything's got a blue hue. I'll take a photo of that and show you what I mean. There's a few distracting elements in the background. I'm going to try and raise my hands up high as I can and get a shot. Now because it's such low light, I'm going to have to use a little bit of ISO, which means a little bit of noise in the image, but oh well, I haven't got a tripod, so that's what you have to do, deal with. I'm shooting in RAW, so I've got lots of dynamic range to work with in post-production. I will edit the photos in Lightroom. Uh, but at the moment, I'll show you the, the blue hue to everything. The blue hour hue this time of day. My aperture will be at 4.0. My shutter speed will be at... 
what am I shooting at? 55, so I'm going to make it one hundredth of a second. That means my ISO is going to go up to around about 1250. Just focusing on the rocks. Nice and steady. I'll get as high as I can. Thank you, articulating screen. Place my subject on the bottom third. Just looking at the image, looking for sharpness. It looks reasonably sharp. Pretty happy with that for a, an example of blue hour. As we can see over here, I'll just do a bit of video of over there. There's only a small window of light, but I think the sun will be rising a little bit more in that direction which is why we're not getting much colour in the sky right now. I'll wait around for a little while and see what the light does. about the maximum amount of color in the sky at the moment and I'm guessing the Sun should be rising somewhere over there yeah somewhere over there I was really hoping to get that golden light on the subject which is behind me over here I'm gonna go up the road a little bit further there's some dead trees I want to have a look at so. Cows are very curious critters. They're all coming over to have a look to see what I'm doing. I have been stirring them up a bit by going, Mwah! 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 So Kraken, I do it too all the time, and cows are very curious critters. 6.44 a.m. Time for breakfast. Well, I hope you enjoyed something a little bit different from me pointing out a little bit of the technical aspects of the photography that I do. In case you were curious, I'm using a Fujifilm X-T200, which is an entry-level mirrorless camera by Fuji, Fujifilm. 
It's a great little camera. It does lots of things well. It does lots of things poorly that I'd like to do better. But, you know, to get the quality of what I'm after, you're looking at, you know, triple the price of what I paid for it. For the quality of photos that it takes, I think it's quite adequate. And the video as well. All right, until next time, be good to each other. Chewy out. Peace. Thank you.